Howdy, howdy, folks. <laughs> Today we're going to go back into a little bit of my misspent youth. Youth, as they would say. Um, I like to be into country music when I was younger. When I was in high school, I owned my own horse. And even though I lived in a place called Sands Point, New York, which is a very upscale neighborhood, I mean, quite literally, my neighbors were the Guggenheims and the Vanderbilts. Um, I still was a country boy. And I had my coat of horse and my cowboy hat and my leather fringe jacket and my cowboy boots. And I would go riding around there in the neighborhood out on the beaches of Sands Point amongst all the million dollar waterfront mansions. True story. And, uh, but I was in the country, I was in the country music, Whale and Willie and the boys. And uh, one of those guys, one of the lesser known, but nonetheless, one of the, uh, more iconic and uh, uh, one of my favorites was a guy that went by the name, and I don't think it's his real name, I, I, I don't imagine, but um, Johnny Paycheck. Johnny Paycheck. Um, yeah. And Johnny Paycheck wrote a piece of music that he performed called The Outlaw's Prayer. So if you're into country music and cowboys and horses, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Ring the bell. But let's go ahead and listen to Johnny Paycheck singing The Outlaw's Prayer. You know, I worked a big package show in Fort Worth Saturday night. Had all day to rest and relax before I call my next flight. Okay, I don't know if you guys know who this guy C.W. McCall is. He's an old trucker uh, song, and uh, I'll, I'll do a review of one of his songs. He does a song called uh, Teddy Bear, and boy, it just sounds just like uh, uh, just like uh, um, Johnny Paycheck here. So I decided to walk downtown get myself a little fresh air. Before long, I found myself in front of a big church on the corner of the square. Boy, I could hear that singing out there in the street. Sure was a beautiful sound. I just walked up the steps and opened the door and started to go in and sit down. But before I could, a young man came up to me and said, excuse me, sir, but I can't let you come in with that big black hat and those jeans and that beard and long hair. Well, I thought about that a minute and I just left and went outside sit down on the curb and I thought to myself folks God doesn't care what you look like or what you're wearing go to church and if there's somebody in the church that tells you you can't come in because of the way you're dressed punch them in the nose and tell them grandpa said so that's the house of the Lord and that guy's got a hell of a nerve telling me I can't worship anywhere I please. That's right. So right there in front of that church, I just knelt down on my knees. And I said, Lord, now I know I don't look like much, but I didn't think you'd mind. I just wanted to be with your people, Lord, because, well, it's been a long time. You know, a while ago, I saw an old wino over there in the alley. He was all bent over in tears. And I thought how one stained glass window from that church could have fed his family for years. fine cars parked out front, Lord. 
more than I can count. Made me think how people used to walk for days to hear your sermon on the mount. And there's all those fine ladies in the choir, Lord, singing like they really love it. Hell, last night they was on the front row of my show, dancing and drinking beer, and hollering, sing, shove it. You know, even John the Baptist, I don't think, would be welcome in this place. with his coat made of camel hair and sandals on his feet and a long beard on his face. You know, Lord, when you come back to get your children and take them to live beyond the clouds, well, I'll tell you something. I'd sure hate to be in that crowd. I ain't perfect. Some people even say I'm no count. I always believed a man's judged by what's in his heart and not what's in his bank account. Yes, sir. So you know, if that's what religion is, a big car and a suit and a tie, well, I might as well forget it, Lord. I can't qualify. By the way, Lord, just before they threw me out of that church over there, didn't I see a picture of you with sandals and a beard? Yes, Jesus, I believe you had long hair, too. This is Paycheck, signing off. I'll be seeing you, Lord. Johnny Paycheck, yeah, the Outlaw's Prayer. And he's so right. I mean, he's just spot on. I used to be very active in my church, and, and I've moved away from congressional worship because I saw too many, you know, Sunday morning pious people that were sinning on Friday and Saturday night. And just, you got to live your life one way or the other. I, I try to live my life in service to my community and, and try to do good where I can. And you know, in the bat in the past, I've I've served many organizations on their boards and um, worked as a volunteer for the court system, a volunteer firefighter, 4-H leader, all kinds of stuff that I've done in my life, trying to be of service to my community. I wish others would would pick up the the gauntlet there and do the same. Find something you can do in your community and try to help out those less fortunate than you. And if you're a member of a church and you see someone like Johnny Paycheck come to the door, welcome him in. Welcome him in. So, all right, kids, I'll have more for you in the next video.